<laughs> you getting excited, huh? Hello, everybody. It has been a minute. We took a couple weeks off. I've been kind of dealing with some health stuff, but woke up this morning and decided that we are going to hit the road. Um, we were not prepared at all, so we have been running around like crazy people trying to get everything packed up and we are just about ready. So I thought I'd film a little intro here and we are actually gonna head to Moab, Utah. It's only about an hour and a half drive for us. So we're gonna run to the store, grab some food real quick on the way, grab some gas and then head out and hopefully get there in time for Greta's nap and so she can take her nap, hopefully. Let's see how that goes. Say hi, Papa. it out here to our spot this is actually our first time camping in the scamp in a like organized campground so we'll have a porta potty here and a picnic table and an actual fire pit which we don't have any fire so I don't know if we'll run into town to get some or not but we made it to Moab and we made it just in time to get this guy his bottle <laughs> look at you excited yeah and we actually came out right to a spot where I was thinking. We um, actually got engaged here in Moab at Corona Arch, and we are right across from the trailhead of Corona Arch. Kind of a cool spot. And we just got all set up and started to sprinkle a little bit. So I'm in here feeding Otto, and then uh, we'll continue on with our night here. So it's still sprinkling a little bit out here, but I thought I would show you a view of what's around us just to give you an idea. So here we have the camper and then you can see behind me, this goes up to that main road that comes through and right there's the um, Corona Arch Trailhead. So you can see Maybe not, but there are some people up there hiking. You can see them coming down and it's just really pretty out here. There are some other spots down on the other side here. Back behind us. That would be a little bit more ideal because it'd be less um, or further away from the road. But you know, when you show up at 1 p.m. on a Saturday afternoon, you take what you can get. So the dogs have to be on their leashes while we're here, which there's some other spots where they wouldn't have had to be, but it was really busy, so they probably would have had to been on leashes either way. So there's the dogs. Here's little Greta. Say hi. Hi. We've got Otto over here. 
What do you think of this spot, Greta? Um, good. It's good? Yeah? Are you excited to be camping again? Yeah. Yeah? And you brought your brother? Yeah, but I didn't. I oh. lost my glasses and I oh, you horsey. Yeah, you forgot your glasses and your horsey. And what's on your face, do you think? Some chocolate from... What'd you eat? Oh, but you had a cookie? No, there's chocolate on it. Chocolate. That was my donut. You had a donut this morning, but you had chocolate cookie for lunch, huh? Get a little video of Otto before he gets tired and wants to take a nap again. A goo. He's getting really talkative lately, so he's been fun. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Let's tuck, tuck, tuck. Well, Sean just took Greta into town with him, left me with Otto and the dogs out here, and uh, he's gonna go grab some firewood and some marshmallows so we can have a fire tonight. But I thought I would take you guys inside here and show you what we brought this time so that we don't get too cold and we don't have to head home tonight. Okay, so this is the door and then this is the big main cabinet that we have inside here this is where we keep all of our clothes and um bottles and diapers and things like that for the baby um but i want to show you what we packed to keep the really it was auto that got too cold that we were worried about last time so we actually got a electric blanket and then this is his blue sleep sack that he normally wears we actually have a green one that's the size up so i'm gonna double him up in sleep sacks tonight and then i brought just these little pants to put on him and a long sleeve onesie to put on him and <laughs> his sleeper that has the mitts. Um, we do have, maybe it's not in this compartment right now, but we do have a hat and some mittens for him. And then for Greta, I got her this set of like base layer. Um, so let me put this on the bed, it might be easier to show you guys. So here's these pajama pants for Greta and then it has this snap onesie when we got it in the mail she said that's my brother's because of the buttons because she thought that was like a onesie and that should only be for Otto <laughs> but I brought that for her and then I just brought her sweatpants and warm socks like these thicker socks and the way that we have set up the bunks here we just have her sleeping bag up here. It's not that heavy, but she sleeps pretty warm. So we have that. And then again, if you haven't seen before, we put Otto down here and this pad blocks him from coming off the end. So I think we'll be pretty set. We did get this Jackery that we can plug the heated blanket into. And we thought we could lay it down under here underneath Otto if it gets really chilly. Otto! Otto! <laughs> he gets so excited out here looking at these little toys. Look at him. <laughs> I want to try to capture some of these baby giggles. We'll see if I can get him to do it on the camera. Let's see. machine plugged in here. Over here. Otto's going down for a nap. Say night night. It's 
very cool that we have this jackery that we can plug into now and run little things like this for the kids. It's a little while later, just checking back in. We are getting ready for dinner and Otto's had a nap. Greta's done the one wheel. Was that fun, Greta? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we are starting to make dinner. Again, this was a quick last minute thrown together trip. So we're making some hot dogs and chips and just going really easy tonight. And then we're gonna have a fire cause Sean was able to find some firewood. So. We'll do that a little bit later. This is exactly what the scamp is all about for us. Getting our little ones outside and letting them explore and play and not be on screens.
All right, so we are gonna make some pancakes in here. As you can see, we are a little tight on counter space here. So this burner isn't on. I'm just gonna use this to uh, use my mixing bowl there so that I have a spot to put it. And then what I do is I just bring um, the milk that I need in a shaker bottle with the ball. And then I have an egg that I'll add into here and shake it up and we bring a whole thing of olive oil with us every time and then i just pre-mix the flour sugar and salt that i need in this bag um and so i just dump all this in together mix it up and then i'll start making my pancakes Well, our trip is almost at an end. We are just starting to pack everything up. We have to be out of here by noon, so we're gonna pack up and eat some lunch here, and then we'll head on out. What's this guy doing? Are you gonna roll over? Let me see, let me see. Hi. 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 <laughs> 